one. Uh, people on the west coast of the United States and even in Arizona reported a, have been reporting a metallic taste in their mouths and in the Pacific Northwest around Seattle they reported uh, salty tasting rain. Um, these are indications of radioactive particles in the air just as they are in Japan. And the salty rain and probably the main cause of new increases in asthma reported in Japan and in the Northwest is cesium chloride which uh, forms, it's a compound that forms from the radioactive cesium released into the atmosphere from uh, nuclear um, sources. Uh, on the night of June 14th, a nuclear incident occurred in the Reactor 3 building in the spent fuel pool when huge bursts of gamma ray fluorescence lit up the night sky and turned the reactor building as bright as the sun, indicating the spent fuel rods and melted uranium and plutonium uh, may have been boiling off, but um, it, may not, it may have been something else because most of the uh, uh, radioactive isotopes in the spent fuel rods are oxides and they have extremely high uh, melting temperatures. So something certainly was happening, but we're still not sure. And that's still with the assistance of a lot of top-notch uh, nuclear scientists. So this is a very complex situation, and since it's never happened before, it's, uh, there's a big learning curve. But of course, we, um, we will learn a lot more about radiation because of this, or accidents. Um, the radiation from this unreported but very dangerous event on the night of June 14th was released without protecting the residents of Fukushima Prefecture, especially the children. But the radiation was detected at elevated levels from 2.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. on a monitor in Ibaraki Prefecture. How, <coughs> how many curies? of radiation were released. When will this nuclear war against the Japanese people and the Northern Hemisphere ever end? It's months later and there's really no solution to the problems at Fukushima. It's an unprecedented nuclear disaster many times worse than Chernobyl. Instead of evacuation, the Japanese government gives the children who are sick with radiation symptoms now. They have increased asthma, diarrhea, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. They're very tired all the time. And um, they have nosebleeds. Uh, it's just horrible. Uh, the government is giving them film badges to measure the external exposure dose. They're just part of the National Sacrifice Zone exactly like the study groups in the U.S. who were secretly studied, just like the Hiroshima and Nagasaki victims who were still being studied uh, after we were exposed to nuclear bomb tests. The Iraq victims and Gaza victims, uh, Cheney has been sending uh, people over, experts over, to do uh, dose assessments, to take soil samples, and to assess the people to see how high the radiation levels are and obviously it's so they can they can add more radiation until they reach the desired dose to eliminate the target population. And the US government did the same thing to Americans to, during 1300 nuclear bomb tests in the US. Sorry, so, can, can, can I interrupt <laughs> here? Um, when you mentioned Cheney, what, was that during the Bush administration or he's currently doing it or what? He was doing it under the Bush administration, but it, there are indications he um, sent the same uh, person, um, his name is Ficini, uh, Ficino, um, to <coughs> Gaza. And this is after uh, Cheney and Bush left office. I see. He's to, still, in, he's, to, he's to still to involved. the radiation yeah. from, the de, from the depleted uranium bombing of Gaza. 
Uh, well, uh, also, uh, they use dime weapons, D-I-M-E, which right. is a very, very carcinogenic tungsten alloy. They're putting about 10 pounds of it into the warheads of various um, bombs and missiles, and it has a 100% uh, tumor genesis within three to five months, and a 100% death rate within seven months, and this is in rat studies. But we know already from death rates and analysis of various parameters, health parameters in Fallujah and Iraq, uh, that they used it there and in Lebanon. Right. So the, these are similar sort of uh, uh, top, uh, very specific genocides going on. Very specific genocides with okay. more and more efficient uh, uh, technologies. Right. Now. Now, um, back, back, back to the food contamination in the U.S. Yeah. due to Fukushima. Yes. yes. Um, I want to mention a study that was done in, uh, reported from Los Angeles on July 15th. Uh, the title is Abnormal Spikes Reported in Southern California Radiation. Radioactivity in Los Angeles Peaches Jumps 208% Above Normal. So... Uh, this is a volunteer uh, radiation monitoring program that people are doing, and on um, because uh, people, uh, just ordinary citizens, have to do the measurements now. They can't count on any international organization, their own governments at any level. Uh, we are on our own now, and we're facing uh, total extermination and genocide if we don't act on our own behalf. I can't emphasize that more strongly. We are on our own. So what these citizens found on July 8th was the interior spot reading in a Santa Monica market had, a mac had an approximate background of 39 counts per minute. Two peaches sustained 81 counts per minute and above or over two times the background, 208% times higher than the site background. On the 7th of July, uh, in a 10-minute interior average of the driver's side floor mat of radiation station's vehicle, 48.8 counts per minute, which is 23.23% higher than the previous interior average. So here we begin to see the cumulative effect of radiation, low-level radiation in the environment in uh, the western U.S. This is Los Angeles. On uh, July 6th, uh, there was a 10-minute oh, uh, interior average of a radiation station, Teledyne water pick air cleaner and ionizers 3, mil, uh, 3M filter. So it's a dust aggregate from the filter, which was video recorded at 57.6 counts per minute, which is 46.94% higher than the preceding interior reading. So this is the cumulative effect. Um, and then at 7 p.m., uh, <clears throat> an hour before, the interior average of a radiation station Teledyne water pick air cleaner and ionizers 3M filter, uh, a specific spot on the filter measured 60.2 counts per minute, which is 53.5% higher than the preceding interior reading. So um, this is what's happening all over Japan, but at higher levels. We've got it all over the U.S. now. It's on our shoes. We're tracking it into our houses. It's on our rain umbrellas. It's on uh, our raincoats, on our jackets that we wear outside. Um, our gardens are contaminated. Our drinking water is contaminated. And our food is contaminated. Now, <clears throat> what is notable is that in the last decade, in the last 10 years, bipolar disorder has increased 40 times in the United States. Now, is that because more people are being given that diagnosis, or is that a standard diagnosis <coughs> that has increased 40%? <coughs> 
It's being caused by the increasing levels of global radioactive pollution. And in the last 10 years, that would be from primarily the depleted uranium uh, floating around the world and being rained out, uh, rained out into the environment all over the world from uh, the ura depleted uranium weapons used in Iraq and Afghanistan. They're using them in Africa. They're using them in, on Mindanao in the Philippines. They're using them all over Australia, every base. And we're about to have um, another uh, talisman saber huge um, uh, joint exercise in Australia with U.S. and American troops, a quarter of a million troops. And I have um, documentation from Australian military websites and soldiers' blogs that are photos of the um, every caliber of depleted uranium munitions being used during those talisman saber exercises. Australia is completely radioactive. It's blowing all over the Southern Hemisphere. And um, uh, it's just causing uh, horrendous brain damage. It's, um, uranium really affects uh, brain, the brain function and causes a uh, decrease in intelligence, in SAT scores, in um, uh, a very large increases in bipolar disorder, um, uh, uh, what's the um, disease that children have uh, where they can't concentrate? Dys dyslexia, uh, all kinds of uh, autism. It's just terrific what's happening to American children. And it's got to be radiation uh, because this is the same disease is that, as uh, brain disease. Uh, ADHD, attention deficit Deficit disorder. D d disorder, yeah. These are all uh, were, were reported also during uh, the nuclear bomb test. As soon as we turned the radiation off and ended the bomb testing, um, the, um, the fishing catch improved overnight practically, over-recovered in less than five years. And uh, unfortunately, the brain damage in American children uh, has become permanent. There was a 12% decline in SAT scores for children born uh, between 1945 and 1963. 12% in just a few years. And that never recovered because nuclear power plant pollution replaced the bomb testing uh, nuclear pollution. Now, Japan no. has had three nuclear wars since World War II when they were bombed with Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bombs. Then they got the nuclear power plants, and now they have the Fukushima disaster, which is going to finish the Japanese future. Well, ja yeah, we've, we, we may have covered this uh, elsewhere, but I, I'd just like to reiterate it for this particular program. What you just mentioned about the effects of stopping the atmospheric nuclear tests and how there was a recovery in the biosphere uh, and among humans to a certain extent. So that means that if, the, uh, if in Japan these, the uh, nuclear reactors had been encased in concrete or some other s similar thing, I, I'm not the expert here, or even now, similar measures had occurred, such as have occurred at Chernobyl and elsewhere. This would greatly ameliorate the situation. Is that correct? Uh, yes, the initial response um, created all these problems. So uh, why is it that, I guess the answer is obvious. Is it because this is a false flag operation tied to a genocide that, in effect, there has been no, quote, permanent solution, which is relatively obvious, to, to encasing the Fukushima uh, reactors in concrete or some other permanent solution like that? Well, let's just put it this way. Um, the United States government and the Japanese government have been issuing joint contamination maps, joint documents, so forth and so on. It's very clear 